Drake certified lover boy breaks the records for Spotify most streamed album in a single day. Before we get started, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you avoid missing any amazing videos from us. Without any further ado, let's get into it. Drake's sixth studio album has been widely anticipated, partly because it comes after numerous delays. The singer first announced that it would be out in January of 2021, but it was later pushed until the end of summer. Finally, the Canadian rapper released his sixth album, Certified Lover Boy, in September 3, 2021, through OVO Sound and Republic Records. Despite receiving mixed reviews from music critics, Certified Lover Boy was a commercial success, debuting atop the US Billboard 200 with 613,000 album equivalent units, at 46,000 of which were in pure sales. Drake is already celebrating an exciting accomplishment with his latest album as the album broke Apple Music and Spotify Records for the largest streaming debut within a single day. On the release day itself, the folks at Spotify announced that Drizzy's new album Certified Lover Boy had broken the platform record for most album streams in a day, and according to Spotify data, the record logged over 153.4 million streams in its first day on sale. This makes Certified Lover Boy is the most streamed album in a single day in the streaming services history. In a tweet that included an image announcing the accomplishment, Spotify wrote, On Friday, September 3rd, CLB became Spotify's most streamed album in a single day. The announcement arrived hours after Apple Music announced that Certified Lover Boy broke the record for single-day album streams. According to Chart Data, it only took 12 hours for Drizzy to reach that accomplishment. To celebrate his exciting streaming feat, the champagne poetry crooner shared a photograph on Instagram of a billboard that announced his achievement. At midnight on the day the album finally dropped, Drake shared a message on Instagram with a handwritten copy of the tracklist. Certified Lover Boy is a 21-track album from Toronto rapper had been teasing for close to two years. Laced with deft flows, outpouring of melody, agile wordplay, and bars that should be found in Instagram captions everywhere pretty soon, the project is quintessential Drake. The album marks the Canada Native's first full-length project following Scorpion. Drake previously released other new material in between, including 2020's Dark Lane demo tapes and the EP Scary Hours 2, which was released in March. Logging in at an extended 86 minutes over 21 tracks, Certified Lover Boy is most definitely a long-playing effort. Its album art, designed by acclaimed English artist Damon Hirst, features 12 emojis of pregnant women in varying skin tones. In breaking the record the six God Crushes one, he himself set with his Scorpion album back in 2018. That project earned 132 million streams in just one day. Kanye West's Donda and Olivia Rodrigo's Sour each previously also held the record for 2021, although not all time. Needless to say, that new Drizzy Drake is going pretty fast. The album also features as much as 15 fellow artists including Jay-Z, Travis Scott, Lil Wayne, Future, Young Thug, 21 Savage, T.Y. Dolla Sign, Kid Cudi, Rick Ross, Lil Baby, and Project Pat all appear on the 21-song album. Even Nicki Minaj performs a spoken word cameo on Pappy's Home. Drake has also been giving writing credits to several artists. The opening song Champagne Poetry credits The Beatles, John Lennon, and Paul McCartney for an interpolation of Michelle. Meanwhile, TSU credits Justin Timberlake and controversial R. Kelly. The credit comes as the song borrows some of the orchestral beats from R. Kelly's 1998 single Half on a Baby. Production was handled by frequent collaborators 40, 1985, Party Next Door, Oz and Vinyls, among others. There isn't any word on how many album equivalent units Drizzy's new album could sell in its first week. But if his success on these streaming services is any clue, he's probably headed for the number one spot on the Billboard 200 albums chart. While there are plenty of CLB songs that are getting love right now, one that's gotten fans talking a lot is the Young Thug in Future featuring Way Too Sexy, a right said Fred interpolating track that's also got an inventive accompanying video. CLB was originally scheduled to be released earlier this year in January, which was postponed due to health issues Drake had been facing at the time. Meanwhile, the album is also making waves on Apple Music less than 12 hours after its release. Apple Music confirmed that Certified Loverboy broke the record for the most streamed album in 2021. This makes the Canadian singer the most streamed artist in a day in 2021. The announcement comes only days after Kanye West's Donda broke the record for most streamed album on Apple Music. Ye's Donda pulled in over 60 million streams in the US alone during its first 24 hours on Apple Music. Elsewhere, Spotify has revealed the most streamed songs of the summer for 2021. Reliably, Olivia Rodrigo's Good For You remains a genre-defining smash whose reign will not just let up. 
With so many collaborating artists in the fray, chances are, if you're into mainstream rap, you'll find something you like on the project. However, it is certain that Drake has proven once and for all that he's the ultimate record setter when it comes to the music business. Drake is now one of the only eight artists with at least 10 number one albums in the 65 year history of the Billboard 200 chart. The Beatles have the most number ones with 19. They are followed by rapper Jay Z at 14, Bruce Springsteen and Barbara Streisand at 11 each, Drake, Eminem, Elvis Presley, and Kanye West with 10 each. Drake first topped the Billboard 200 dated July 3, 2010 with Thank Me Later. Drake's certified lover boy snares the biggest week for an R&B hip-hop album, a rap album, and also an album by a male artist. That's certainly a pretty impressive record to hold, and Drake fans couldn't be happier. That's all for today, folks. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any amazing videos from us.